It is a kitchen filled with an array of leafy vegetables that are increasingly becoming an essential item in most kitchens. We are becoming healthy people, aren't we? Yeah. Ask yeah. its owner, Betty Murungi, who for close to an hour gave me a how-to, what-to kitchen orientation. A person many have for years perceived as a no-nonsense academician and career woman. And who wouldn't? With her checkered career path from the University of Nairobi to the Harvard School of Law, feminist lawyer and human rights activist with experience in international criminal law, a consultant on the Sierra Leone Truth and Reconciliation Commission, and group member in the monitoring of investigations and prosecution of gender crimes at the International Criminal Tribunal for Rwanda. Over and above all that, co-founding Argent Action Fund Africa, an organization aimed at advancing women's rights. Cooking for me is therapeutic. It's amazing to um, invent something, to yeah. create something yeah. uh, from nothing with your hands yeah. and, and, and put it on the table and watch people enjoy it. Today, however, she lets us in on her more subtle side, a side she has now taken up over her now less rigorous routine since resigning as vice chair and commissioner of the Truth, Justice and Reconciliation Commission. In the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, there is a saying that uh, there is a time for everything. Um, so I guess this is my time to, uh, to, to, to take it easy, uh, either by default or by design. Uh, so I feel very comfortable. She looks nothing like her 51 years, what she easily attributes to her firm principle of doing what she loves and loving what she does. A principle she has continued to apply as a lawyer, a woman, a wife and mother. We have the capacity and the ability to multitask gloriously. Yes. Um, and all of women's experiences, including childbirth, child rearing, taking care of your family, cooking, uh, being a career woman, all of those are experiences that you must have and you must demand as a woman. There's nothing to say that if you're a successful career woman, if you're educated, professional woman, uh, if you're at the top of the corporate ladder, that therefore somehow the kitchen becomes taboo, that it's a no-go area. Mm. Nothing could be further from the truth. Yeah. It is easy to recognize her passion for books. She has them everywhere, from the kitchen... And then of course this is a great book. These are my feminist studies books. ...to her home office. And my favorite, favorite genre of books is biographies. Mm. Uh, I think you can always learn something from somebody's life. It is also here that she takes us through her journey, one she says was nowhere near what she had envisaged as a child. I never decided that I wanted to be a lawyer. It was like, it was by default. I got high marks and therefore I went to do law. Uh, I thought when I was younger that I might be a doctor, but sciences didn't uh, agree with my reasoning and my abilities. Years later, Anne Betty, a recipient of a national honor, that of the Moran of the Order of the Burning Spear for her efforts towards advancing human rights, says it is a path that she does not regret taking, having sharpened her agility, motivating her father in her quest to fight and defend the rights of women. I inquire about her opinion on the ongoing ICC process and what it might pretend for Kenya's healing and reconciliation process. So I think it would be a good thing for us to, uh, you know, take the debate further. I think we, we get paralyzed in the whole ICC debate because we see it as a case of um, six people. She puts back her saddle shoes. It's lunchtime at the household. Her son Bob and sister Rose helping to describe her love for family and introducing us to Betty, the wife and mother. A part of her life, she says, strengthened her resolve both as a mother and career woman. This lawyer, who has been practicing for close to 30 years, enjoys photography, drawing and painting, and still has dreams. Of course, I've always wanted to uh, be in public service because I've always felt it's important to give back to your country, mm -hmm. which has given you so much. This country has given me so much. For now, though, she's content with enjoying the simple pleasures of life, appreciating the result of a fight for gender equality that is slowly bearing fruit. Even one boy for newsmakers.